What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another NBA video to of course be going over with you guys. This time I wanted to report on the trade that could actually send Julius Randle to the Los Angeles Lakers. Yes, this is being reported and god damn this is probably going to be a short video because this is ridiculous. I mean, why the fuck would the Lakers do this if we're being honest? But... It is being said that if Donovan Mitchell ends up in New York, there could be talk between the Knicks and the Lakers that involve Julius Randle, and this is all being reported by Mark Stein. So this is a completely separate trade from the Utah Jazz one, which is just completely funny that the, the, the Knicks literally could just be trading, you know, Evan Fournier, Cam Reddish, someone else, and a bunch of first-round picks, like five, and some pick swaps for Donovan Mitchell. And then they still will trade Julius Randle later on. And I think it's funny because my friend Brody, who is a huge Knicks fan, kind of said it best when he, of course, did say that the, you know, the Knicks would be a way better team if Randle wasn't on it. If they got Donovan Mitchell, then there's just too many shot creators there. And Randle just will hate it because he doesn't have the ball. He likes playing as this point forward type of role where he doesn't play a whole lot of point. He just likes to have the ball in his hand and not play make that well. Um, that's, that's a little harsh. He is an underrated playmaker, I feel. But it's kind of like the situation of, yeah, I can definitely see that because he wants the ball in his hands. He feels like he is the New York version of LeBron. And I don't see a way where he, Donovan Mitchell, RJ Barrett, etc etc all you know Jalen Brunson now all coexist on an NBA court there is just simply too many shot creators and it's yeah, hold on a second my, my ear is weird I feel it's it's itching I feel like I've got something crawling into something I don't know uh, I feel like there's too much going on there there are too many shot creators too many people who want the ball and want to grab the ball and touch each other no, no homo um I, don't, I was gonna say touch each other's balls but we're getting a little sidetracked here. Anyway, I don't think this works. There are too many people who want to touch each other's balls and it just doesn't work. There's not, there's too much shot creation. There's not enough spacing. You know, you've got a lot of players that can shoot, but none of them are really quick fire dudes that are going to be terrific catch and shoot guys. You know, Donovan Mitchell and Randall can do it, but a lot of their threes do come from somewhat of a shot creation, you know, aspect. Randall's not, you know, that great at being that dude that can sit in a corner and just shoot it. Definitely, RJ Barrett definitely isn't. The best one out of them would probably be Jalen Brunson. He's used to it doing some of it with Luka, but that's not one of the reasons he joined the Knicks. Of course, the big reason was he weighed up that bag and was like, holy shit, this is $30 million more than you know, I expected, which fair enough. But the other thing was he wants the ball more in his hands. He wants to truly be the point guard. He doesn't want Donovan Mitchell, RJ Barrett, and Julius Randle all taking it off him at once. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if two did, but three is maybe too many. Even players like Obi Toppin and that, Cam Reddish if they keep him, all of them will be wanting to take more shots. So I do feel like the Knicks will try and trade him to the Lakers, but on the Lakers, he doesn't make any sense. He, he, he really doesn't. And the reality is, is they've already got LeBron. Why would they want mega Walmart discount version of LeBron and Julius Randle? They just don't. There aren't a lot of teams that are going to be like, going to settle for Randall because they're going to be wanting to build all these shot creators. And Randall doesn't play well with other people. He doesn't play nice with other people, I should say. He likes being the number one option. And for the most part, he did it very successful that one year when he took the Knicks to the playoffs. But as soon as he, the next season, RJ Barrett kind of took over a little bit more. The Knicks sucked more because RJ Barrett wasn't, I don't think, ready to be the number one option but he ended up banging it over Julius Randle, and Julius Randle just tanked. Imagine what's going to happen now that they've got Jalen Brunson if they get Donovan Mitchell. Big issue. Are the Lakers good for him? Probably not. I wouldn't say so. I'd say the team that 100% would be good for him, in my opinion, the definite team that should try and trade for him, especially if the Knicks are just going to give him away for scraps. Like, there was a rumor they would trade him for Russell Westbrook. That's what they're saying. That he's going to get traded for Russell Westbrook just so the Knicks can wave Russell Westbrook. Like, that's hilarious. But the team that should trade for him, if they're, you know, if they're giving away for a packet of chips and a Mountain Dew, should be the Portland Trailblazers. Other than Dame and maybe Jeremy Grant, who are they paying? Oh, 
That's right, Anthony Simons and Nurkic, because for some reason they decided to sign both those players on like 20 million a year, which... I don't know. Anyway, they should 100% look at Julius Randle. I don't know how they're going to make contracts work, but Julius Randle would be perfect on the Portland Trailblazers because everyone knows Dame. If Dame knows he can 100% win, he could legitimately let Julius Randle be that point forward type of role. And it could work out, especially if they get Julius Randle to do somewhat of a more scoring type of role that Draymond does, where Draymond just tries to pass and, you know, set screens and all that type of stuff. Randall could definitely do that. If he got his screen, uh, screen set plays up a lot more, his playmaking, I think, is there when it wants to be. He can definitely do something like that. And just as a better scorer as well, I could see that. And I think Portland, you know, could definitely have Damian Lillard working off him like what Steph Curry does with Draymond. And that Portland team would finally start to shape up. Like at the one, you would have Dame. Two, you'd have Simons. Three, you'd have Grant. Four, you would have Randall. And five, you would have Nurkic. And imagine what that team would look like small ball. Like, that team would be really good. You could have Dame at the one, Simon to the two. Um, I forgot his name. Whoever they took at pick seven this year, pick uh, number three at the three, sorry. God damn, I don't even remember who they took, but he, he's a good shot creator, I guess. Not good enough for me to remember. Four, you'd have Grant. Then five, you'd have Randall. That small ball team would be a killer. That's the team who should be looking to trade for Julius Randall. I think he would be perfect there. But, <laughs> but, how are they going to get that done? And if the Lakers do this, yes, Randall is probably a better play for Westbrook, but it's not, not like he fits the system better than what Westbrook does. Both of the players fit the system terribly. They both won't work with LeBron. They don't really work with AD either. I mean, when Julius Randall last played with AD, he came off the bench. Like, <laughs> it doesn't work. I don't know how they're going to do this. I don't know if they will. I don't think they will. I think it's stupid in my opinion. I think the Lakers should stay far away. And if the Knicks don't get Mitchell, it would still be handy to keep Randall. But if you're a team like Portland, why would you not trade for Julius Randall? I think that would be an awesome situation. Even Dallas would be a somewhat interesting team, I think, to see him on. Especially without small ball and stuff they've gone. Maybe looking for another shot creator now that Brunson's gone. Randall would be good for them, and they could give up a bunch of players that they got on that team. Knicks were interested in Reggie Bullock a bit ago. They could literally send Bullock back to New York. I think that would be an interesting one. But yeah, I'm sure there's other teams out there that Randall would be a good player on. The Lakers are not one of them. Jesus Christ, don't do it, Los Angeles. And if you're the Knicks, I don't see why you would get Westbrook just to wave him when you could just wave Randall anyway then. But you're not going to wave Randall because he's an all-star. So why are we talking about this? Why? I don't know. I mean, you could literally, if you wanted to bring in Westbrook just to wave him, then you could just wave Randall. I know you don't want to do it because he's an all-star. But you know you don't want him. You know the value isn't necessarily there. And God damn would he be good on a team like Portland. Let's be honest here. It would be pretty cool to see that. I don't know what other teams he would be necessarily good on. I'd have to have more of an in-depth look. But that's where you guys should come into this by letting me know down below what are your thoughts and opinions on Julius or Randall? Where would he play perfect? Who should potentially trade for Julius Randall? Or do you guys think the Knicks should maybe keep him? Should the Lakers do it? Should Portland do it? Definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my podcast as well if you haven't already, which I will all be linking in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Through the